Uh, hello class, welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Syntax Technologies. Uh, today's tutorial will be on installing and uh, configuring Selenium WebDriver into your Windows machine. Okay, so first things first, what you want to do is you want to open your desired browser. Okay, in this case I'm using Chrome and you want to search up selenium.dev as you see here and hit enter. Okay, and you will see the Selenium homepage where you will see a lot of great information on Selenium, uh, you know, who's the uh, Selenium level sponsors and if they have any conferences coming up and it's really good information here. Uh, but under the section getting started, okay, we have different components of Selenium. So it's important to know that when we talk about Selenium, we're really talking about different tools provided by Selenium. There's a Selenium WebDriver, there's Selenium IDE, and there's Selenium Grid. Okay, we will talk more about these during class, especially when we talk about Selenium, but we'll be working with the WebDriver. So go ahead and just click Download, okay, and you'll be taken to this Downloads page. Um, and if you scroll down, you'll see Selenium Server Grid. We don't want Grid. We also don't uh, want Internet Explorer Driver Server. Um, but if you scroll down to Selenium Client and WebDriver language bindings, okay, right here, you'll see different language bindings you can use, okay, and this is something that's really good about Selenium. You can use different programming languages, right, Ruby, Python, C Sharp, JavaScript, um, and Java. So because we're using Java, we're going to go to the right-hand side under Links, and we're going to click on Download, okay, and here's the part where you need to pay uh, close attention okay so when I clicked on download if your Windows machine is like mine this will download in the zip folder it's going to download in the zip folder regardless but if you click on it okay then Windows will open the file explorer window to show you what is inside the zip folder okay and you can see here right the zip folder and this is the name of the zip folder we don't want to be in this zip folder Okay, so we click the up arrow, okay, and this is what you want to see. You want to see the zip folder here, okay. Um, you don't want to be inside of it, so what you need to do is you need to right click and you need to click extract all, okay. We need to extract this zip folder, okay, and it's basically asking you to select the destination of where you want to extract it. Uh, for tutorial purposes, we're going to keep the location the same. We're going to extract it in our downloads folder. So you want to click Extract, okay, and another File Explorer window will open up to show you what is inside the folder, the extracted folder, right? We don't see the zip here anymore, but it should have the same stuff anyway. So just exit out of this File Explorer, and you'll see the extracted folder right here, okay? Uh, so we have the extracted, the unextracted one, and we have the extracted one, okay? Perfect. <laughs> Uh, so what you want to do is next you want to download and let's go straight scroll down and you want to go straight to uh, browsers so for every if we want to use selenium we actually need a different driver for every browser that we want to use uh, every driver is unique to its own browser so in this class we would use Firefox and Chrome okay but in the workplace you may use Safari or Internet Explorer or Edge um, each of these browsers have their own unique driver okay but for class we'll be using Chrome and Firefox because these are the two most popular browsers that are used in the workplace um, and you know overall by users so for Firefox uh, click on documentation right here okay and right here the supported table shows the mapping between gecko driver releases click on gecko driver releases by the way uh, Firefox drivers name is gecko driver it's not called Firefox driver okay it's called gecko driver so that's just a little hint there uh, so gecko driver releases click on that and you'll be taken to uh, their github page okay so what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you'll see on their assets you'll see different driver versions or driver formats you can uh, download 
Okay, one is for Linux 32-bit system, one is for Linux 64, then you have Mac OX, then you have a Windows 32 zip, and then you have Windows 64 zip. So if you're kind of confused on which ones to select, if you don't know if you have a 32-bit system or 64-bit system, most of you should have a 64-bit system, but to find out what you have in your Windows search bar, click type in system information and search, and you'll see like your system summary, okay, basically on the specs by your computer. And if you go to system type, you'll see something like x64 base PC. This is telling you that you have your... Uh, you have a 64-bit base PC, uh, PC um, but if you have 32-bit, it will say 32-bit as well. However, uh, most of you should have 64-bit, uh, at least for this class, you should. Uh, so let's exit this, and let's go ahead and download the 64-bit. And again, it will download a zip file. So if I click on it again, it's going to take me to see what's inside the zip file. Uh, but go ahead and click on the up arrow. And here, just like we did with the Selenium Java project, you want to right click and you want to click extract all. Okay. And yes, just don't do anything. Let's extract it to the same location and extract it. And then another file opens up to basically show you what's inside of the extracted folder. So you just go ahead and close this. Uh, and now we have the, ex the extracted folders, right? Selenium. And then we have the Gecko driver. Uh, let's go back to our browser and just click back and let's go back to browsers and now we need Chrome. Okay, so under Chrome, please refer to their documentation, click on this. And now it's different. It's not going to take us to their GitHub account. Okay, so this is the way they've uh, made their drivers available. And it's important to know that um, these drivers have different uh, versions, right? And every driver is unique to the browser version that you are using right so we have two options here under all versions available and downloads if you right click open link a new tab and you'll see different uh, more information about different versions of drivers okay and you can learn more about this see this is all the versions that are available for you to use um, now, it's important to know this because in your workplace, you may be using an older version of Chrome. So you're going to have to download and install that driver because the updated driver won't work with an older version of Chrome. Same as an older driver, older browser driver won't work with the most updated version of Chrome. Okay, so that's important to know. So I'm just going to exit this. I just wanted to show you. So... Under uh, all versions available, you want to click on current stable release. You don't want to click on current beta release. This is still uh, being worked on, but it's just available there for analysis and testing purposes. Uh, so for current stable release, click on Chrome driver 81. However, before we click on this, let's check the version uh, of Chrome that you have. So on the top right corner, you have these three dots here. Click on that and go to help and then go to about Google Chrome, okay? And mine is already updated, but if yours isn't updated, then you'll see some like circle here looking for an update and it may ask you to update. And if it does, please go ahead and update it. Okay, you should have the latest version of Chrome. See, 81.0.4044, that's fine. Okay, so once you have that, then let's go back to the downloads page and here we go this is the driver I can use chrome driver.81.0.40 so forth okay so you want to click on this and you'll be taken to this page okay you have the chrome driver for linux 64 you have chrome driver for mac and then you have chrome driver for uh, windows 32 bit uh, there is no 64 bit but if you have 64 bit that's okay you can use a smaller bit folder in a larger uh, bit machine. Okay, so you want to just go ahead and click on this and Again, it's going to download in a zip folder and when you click on it Right the file explorer will open and show you what's inside the zip file So just click on the up arrow and now we also need to extract this so right click Extract all don't change anything. Let's extract it in the same location and extract Okay, and this, yes, the file explorer window will open up again to show you what's inside the extracted folder, which is the same thing. Okay, uh, keep in mind, if you don't extract these folders, 
you will have issues okay your drivers or your selenium won't work okay so now now that we've done that don't close anything just minimize everything let's open our eclipse okay and now we need to configure and manually add the selenium jar files to a java project so let's go ahead and click in let's go ahead and create a new java project okay and let's call this uh let's call this selenium java oops java batch six okay um actually let's call it perfect so make sure that you also have let's see make sure that you also have selected java version 1.8 okay and if that's the case then you don't need to do anything okay just make sure to select java version 1.8 um, if that's what uh, you were told to do or but if you're told otherwise then select the version of java that you need okay so go ahead and click on finish okay and now i've created a java project i'm sure you know how to create a java project by now uh, all right, so I had to go back and make some configurations to my Eclipse. So again, I created a Selenium project. I just called it Selenium Java Batch 6. And again, you can choose the uh, JRE version you want to use, but please select 1.8 unless told otherwise. All right, so you want to go ahead and click on Finish. And when you do that, you'll see a simple Java project created right here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to download we need to actually install or I mean sorry uh, we need to add the selenium jar files that we downloaded to our project okay and one way to do that is right click and click on properties and on the properties you want to go ahead and click on Java build path and then you want to you may be in a different tab but you want to click libraries okay now, if yours looks like mine, you'll see these options available for you. But if for some reason you have a different screen here and you see like class path or module path, you want to click on class path because uh, these will be disabled. And only when you click on class path, then these would be enabled, uh, at least for Windows. So in my case, I'm able to, you know, click on any of these, add jars, add external jars and so forth. So we want to click on add external jars. Okay, so when I click on that, I actually need to go to my downloads, right? Because that's where we extracted our folders there. And don't click on the zip ones. You want to click on the unzip ones. So go to the unzipped uh, Selenium Java project, the one that we extracted. And we need to add these two jar files, okay? And these jar files, they have like a little Java image here, as you see, but at the right hand side, it says executable jar file as well under type. Okay, so you want to go ahead and select this, select these two, and you want to click open, and they will be added. However, we need to add the rest. So click on add external jars, and you'll probably see the same folder again. So inside this folder, click on libs. And now we need to also add all of these jar files as well. So go ahead and click on this and we need to click open. And now you will have all jar files here. Okay, keep in mind that you need all of them. If you're missing one, you will have issues with your Selenium. It just won't work. Okay, you need all of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so make sure of that. Click apply and close. And now we have a reference libraries folder here. And if you expand that, you'll see different the jar files we just added, right? The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure that there's actually seven. Make sure you didn't miss one, okay? Or you will have issues. So next thing we need to do is we also need to add the drivers we downloaded to our Eclipse. So at the project level, right click, click new and click folder. And we're gonna call this folder drivers, okay? and then click finish. Okay, now there's nothing here. Let me just minimize this. There's nothing here. So there are different ways of doing this. And one way it, that you'll see on YouTube is to basically drag and drop or copy and paste into your Eclipse. 
The problem with that is that's not good practice because uh, you have a high chance of corrupting those files while you're doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the drivers to the drivers folder, but from the file, file explorer level, okay? So you want to click on your file explorer and you want to go to, you actually need to open two file explorer windows and I'll explain why in just a second. So I have two file explorer windows, okay? Now we need to go to if you go back to Eclipse and you right click on the project level and you go to properties, okay, and then you go to resource, we need to go to this location, okay, through File Explorer, right? I'm sure you guys have been using Git, so you guys know how to traverse through your file locations, but here we will do it from a File Explorer level. So it's basically saying, hey, go to your C drive, go to users, go to the user called syntax sessions then go to your eclipse workspace and then go to selenium java batch 6 okay so that's exactly what i'm going to do so go ahead and open any file explorer window that you opened one of the two so it says go to your c drive so if in order to go to your c drive you have to go to this pc and you'll see your local disk c drive right here okay so you'll click on it and it says what's next go to users right and here's users and then it says what syntax sessions so i'll go to syntax sessions and then i have to go to the eclipse workspace so i'm going to go to eclipse workspace and it says go to selenium java batch 6. so i'll click on selenium java batch 6 and here are all the components that are part of this uh, java project in eclipse and as you see here we have the folder that we created drivers right and there's nothing in eclipse and there's also nothing here okay that's fine so leave it as is and we want to open the other file explorer window and you want to go to your downloads okay because that's where we've downloaded our our drivers right so you want to on your selenium java batch 6 file explorer click on drivers right there's nothing there it says the folder is empty and here now go to your extracted driver folders let's start with gecko driver when you click on it here's the driver now you have to just drag and drop here okay so now we have one driver in our drivers folder now click up and then go back to the chrome driver folder and drag and drop the chrome driver here so now we have our drivers in our driver folder for selenium java batch 6. so if you click up and we click on drivers okay now we have both drivers here However, if you go to Eclipse, if you go to Eclipse, nothing is here because you need to go to File and you need to click on Refresh. And then when you open this and expand this, you will see your drivers there. Okay. So remember, you have to come here, click on File, click Refresh, and you'll see your drivers there. Now, keep in mind, if you're comparing and contrasting with someone who is a Mac user, uh, they're not going to have the .exe at the end, okay? Only Windows users will have the .exe at the end. They're only going to see Chrome driver and Gecko driver, okay? Um, and it's important to know that, especially when you're pulling code. For example, our classes that are being taught on the Mac machine, uh, we're going to use the Chrome driver without the .exe, okay? So keep that in mind. All you have to do is just come back here and add .exe, and that's it, okay? So that is the Selenium and driver configuration. So now you should have Selenium, all the Selenium jar files, and now you have the drivers installed. Okay, uh, I hope that this helps. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Thank you very much for watching.